Desert lands of southern Tajikistan were developed in the 40s, 50s of the last century. The Soviet Union was in dire need of gunpowder and the raw material for this was cotton. Mountainous area inhabitants were forcibly displaced to Vakhsh Valley. As a result, for many years, this land has been fertile. The civil war in Tajikistan made lots of people become refugees. They were deprived of home. As a result of Soviet Union collapse and the civil war in Tajikistan, all water supply systems of the region have become deteriorated. Lands that used to fertile have become deserted and not good for use. The outdated infrastructure of the region needed serious reforms. After the civil war rehabilitation activities were started, in which UN agencies and other international organizations were actively involved, the population is also involved in the rehabilitation process through establishing local community setups. The infrastructure is being refurbished slowly and gradually. Rehabilitation of irrigation and drinking water supply systems is going on. The UNDP Perry Office in Chartus, established in 1997, actually uh, working and operating in 10 uh, districts of Western Khartoum Oblast. And uh, starting from its beginning, this office has implemented many uh, projects in different sectors, like uh, health, education, agriculture, development of local economy, powering uh, the local authorities and building the capacity of the community. And plus, uh, we implemented many projects in water and sanitation, as uh, we are now in one of the projects which recently was completed, and this project was implemented by UNDP Area Office in Shartus, with the funding by the ECHO Tajikistan, uh, which pro provides the water to the population of the Jilikul District Center. High unemployment level, however, makes the major part of the population migrate to other countries. With the purpose of uh, community mobilization and decision-making process and also in the implementation of projects at the local level, UNDP promoted and supported establishment of the Jamuad Resource Centers at the very lower, lower level of the community. This organization is community-based organizations and uh, UNDP granted them uh, some funding for the microcrediting and uh, from the interest rate they receive, they implement the small infrastructure projects at the community level. With the assistance of Talman Jamuat Resource Center and means of labor migrants, they glassed windows in the local school, procured a printer for the computer classroom and 50 sets of school desks. The only place of leisure for local people in the club and international calls office was built and furnished for funds collected by labor migrants. This place was allotted for construction of a watershed. It is one hectare here. Because of course war, construction works had been stopped. One of the most important problems here is shortage of drinking water. We take water from the canal. There is no water for four months here. We use water from Eric's and from the places of its accumulation. Now some of our pupils are in clinics because of dirty water consumption. Together with UNIOM organization, UNDP implemented two pilot projects in two Jamuats, one in Shartus and one in Kumsangir district, which this project called Remittance Project. The purpose of this project was to mobilize and to gather the resources of the migrant families, which uh, working in the different countries uh, abroad, the Tajikistan, were sending down the money to the families and to try to encourage them so they can uh, use their resources to rehabilitate small infrastructure projects, including water supply projects, at the village level. This initiative is started only in two Jamuats because there were pilot projects and uh, UNDP believes that this uh, initiative will be launched in other places where we have uh, the Jamuat Resource Center. And UNDP also believes that this mechanism is the best one when the community is participating, community is mobilized, starting from the beginning of the project implementation. And we, we think that this increases uh, the ownership among the community and plus the thinking of the community changes significantly toward the operation and management maintenance of those uh, infrastructure projects and future sustainability. Since nowadays shortage of drinking water, main one. With support of labor migrants, we are planning to put the watershed into operation. We've already collected 4,000 somoni. If we refurbish it, then we would be able to drink pure water.